All right, we wake up. We get the hair done. Pick style, slick, except let's pick a color. Sky coloring, white coloring, tan, parchment. I guess we'll go with parchment. All right, then we get dressed. Throw on the fit. We're ready. <laughs> uh, welcome. We are going to work on some breeding today. And uh, can you uh, just, let's just admire for a second this adorable replicator. You could change the sizes, including, oh, look at this. Look at this forge. It's perfect size for Bunny Man. <laughs> and um, Structures Plus, yes, Structures Plus, S Plus, um, you can change the size of these larger uh, crafting stations. I also have my, um, my industrial grinder at a smaller size because honestly, why make it so big? It does the same job. It's beautiful. I could fit it in here. And the replicator fits perfectly up here. I love it. It's perfect. And it does everything we need it to do. So I was able to go around and look for the last, uh, well, not the last, the first 100 runestones. Let's see. I got them down here. Let's take the screen off. Poor favor. Oops. I'm destroying myself. 100 out of 200. We need another 100 to get another five levels. And I'm currently at level 115, which means because I have my tech engrams overridden, we learn tech stuff uh, as we level up, which is pretty convenient. Now, personally, if I was just using one character and I had a cluster, I wouldn't do this. I would just go through the bosses and then you know, earn them through the boss fights, you know, as rewards. But I have multiple characters and I don't actually have <laughs> a cluster set up. Uh, so I couldn't really do that. Otherwise, I'd have to like re-upload my character on each map and that's super tedious. So I just did it this way. It's a lot easier. Um, you know what? It's fine. I still have to like get element and things like that. So I might as well just get the boss, do the boss fights anyway, because that's the encouragement is I can get a load of element per fight. And it's so much easier than having to make it myself. <laughs> but anyway, okay. So we have the transmutator. Okay, you can convert uh creatures uh between different variants which is awesome if you have a utyranus you could turn it into an x utyranus that is pretty neato there's a cloning chamber i don't really need to use this i mean i have never had a need to actually clone a creature and the creatures i do really like you can't clone them anyway but right here's the propagator and you can breed creatures with it i have no idea how to use this the documentation doesn't really detail it very well you know but um we're just gonna we're just gonna do this it's gonna be a good time so i should have enough Did we just run out of power? Am I but a fiend? Nope, we're good. Okay. So let's see, do I just type it in? Propagator. Okay, 500 element. I'm actually kind of scared about using that much element. Electronics polymer. Okay, so we're gonna have to go do some grinding. So let's have a fun little montage of me going and getting, how much metal do we need? 3,700, we need 1,600 electronics, and 861 polymer. Let's do this.
Have you seen this? It looks like we're in hell. And then not hell. Hell? Not hell. <laughs> what is this? I think it's like the um, atmospheric filters coming from the little volcanic area in there. Kind of bleeding out. Uh, kind of creepy, not gonna lie. Check this. How much do we need for only one? All right, we're getting closer. We just need to make so many electronics. Okay, I'll come back once we have that done. Now that we have things kind of um, pinned down. All right, we're finally here. Let's get going. We have all the materials in here. I just pulled it. Oh, I'm going to say goodbye to all that beautiful element. <laughs> oh, no. It's okay. We have, we have enough. So let's go find the propagator. We have it right here. We just need to turn it on and we're in business. Okay, just one more second. Boom. And there it all goes. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's turn this baby off. Okay, we're gonna go down to uh, the breeding program at the ocean platform and set this guy up. Okay, we're gonna set this somewhere where I can test it. Just put it right here. Hopefully it's within range of my generator. I have these little guys from Eco's Tech Decor and it's a tech generator and it just runs off of gas, which is fantastic. I thought that was a good alternative, <laughs> but anyway. Okay, so this is pretty small. Wow, it's like a tiny, uh, a tiny cloning chamber. Can I get in there? No, no. So it has 100 slots. Let me turn the gamma down. It's very bright out here. Okay. It says, breeds dinos from cryopods. All creatures will produce eggs. Cryopods will not lose charge. Must contain adults and genders. Uh, cannot be changed with a mating cooldown. Consumes one element every amount of hours. <laughs> so I gotta go back and get some dang old element. I, if I had enough dust on me, I would make it. But uh, okay, does it have to be in a uh, cryopod? Let's get these guys in because they're just out here. <clears throat> Here's my male that I was gonna breed, and we'll just get a random female. Let's see if it'll accept soul balls. Okay, we can put the soul balls in there. We'll see if it works. Let's go get a piece of element from back home. Oh my gosh, we have 79 element left. I'll have to make some more element out of the dust I have upstairs. <laughs> okay, let's go back. All right, I have my one bit of element. Let's put it in. And then we activate. Uh, prepare dinos for breeding. 
start breeding. Okay, mating options. Set all to female, can breed. I have no idea what any of this means. Oh, what is this? I have no idea what the sound was. That kind of scared me. Uh, can you change the genders? Mutation pulse. Can we do a mutation pulse in here? No, surely not. Okay, I guess... Uh, start breeding? I mean, they don't make eggs, so I don't know how this is gonna work. Does it do mammals? Was this a bad decision? Mm hmm. I don't know what I'm looking for. Okay, it says genders cannot be changed with the mating cooldown. Oh! <gasps> we got an egg for hyenodons! What the hell? This is crazy. Okay, how the hell does this work? Do we just... Do we drop it? Will a, will a puppy come out? <gasps> it's an egg! Where did it go? Did my thing pick it up? Oh, it's in here. Oh my god. <laughs> I got so scared! Oh my god, let's take it over here. I want to see it hatch. Okay, is this turned off? Let me check. I don't want it to pick up the babies. Okay, it is not enabled. Okay, but we do have the air conditioner right here. Okay, let's throw this down. I don't know. Okay, the egg incubation is almost done. The health is good. It's bobbing around. Look at this cute little guy. Oh, it's so shiny. Check out the reflection in there. Oh, you can see a volcano. I think. Can't tell. Can't tell. I think that's just something weird. Alright, 10 seconds left. Let's see what this little puppy looks like. Oh my gosh, we got a puppy coming out of a golden egg. What is going on? <laughs> It hatched from a golden frickin' egg! What the heck? Oh, little pupper! Oh my gosh, that's crazy! Okay, let's just commemorate this by calling him Golden Egg Boy. Or Golden... Gold... Yeah, it's a boy. Golden Egg Boy with an eye. Oh, look at him. Okay, we're gonna get you in the Pokeball and then put you away, Golden Egg Boy, and uh, we will not continue with that because it works with the Soul Balls. Perfect, because I would hate to have to go get a bunch of Cryopods. Oh, look at the Hyenodon! It's in there! What? So you can see what creatures are actively mating right now. Oh my god. Whoa, we got a lot of babies. Okay, let's stop breeding. Okay. This is revolutionary. This is amazing. We got, we got puppies. We got hyenodons. It's time to get our, it's time to get our guys. We got to move this. We got to, we got to rebranch. We got to, this is, this is amazing. This is fantastic. This is, this is all I wanted to do. <laughs> Okay, um, I, I want to move this, but I just finished using an element. I, I just finished using an element, guys. I just finished using one. Um, consumes one element every bull... Okay, let's see. Minute? Hour? Okay, so that's every one day. Yeah. So one element per day. Cool. The question is, who should I... I I'm going to have to do two of these because I got to do these two lines of Karkardons. Like, why wouldn't I? But let's start with this one, I guess. Uh, we're going to put this guy in there. And then we're just going to pick up all these ladies. And we're going to put them in there, too. I hope I hope this works. Because if I have to put all these people... if I mean, people, these dinos back, I'm going to be pissed off, basically. Because this was maybe 20. Let's 
Let's see how many. Woohoo! One, two, three. So that's 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Yep, 25. That's 25 of them. Wow, uh, that's a lot. Okay, let's see if he can breed with multiples in here and it's not just one for one. Um, we want... He only has one health mutation. And we're gonna put all these girls in here. I don't want Caroline in there, so we're gonna have to find her. At least I think... Caroline, you will not be breeding. Even though she technically is, uh... She has base stats. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, prepare dinos for breeding. Processing. Start breeding. Alright, we got the one male with all the goils. Uh, start breeding? Question mark? Okay, technically this should be faster. Oh my god. Uh, there's only 100 slots in here. I don't think that's gonna be compatible with what we're doing here. <laughs> holding eggs. What does holding eggs mean? Dropping eggs? Yes, please drop the fucking eggs. Let's see. That should be able to- Whoa! Holy sh What the hell? It just exploded with eggs! Oh my word. <gasps> Let's not do that. Hold the eggs. Hold the eggs. Oh my god, that scared the shippy out of me. Okay, hold. Hold the eggs, please. <laughs> hold them. Oh my word, my little meager heart. They just went everywhere. Good thing these things don't, uh... They don't incubate instantly. Otherwise, we'd have a freaking mess. Look at it, it went all the way over here. Damn. Okay, we have to make- we have to put these in a little room, I guess. You know what? That is pretty funny, though. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, I guess we have to make, like, a special little area for these. How am I not over-encumbered? I am so confused right now. Oh, they have barely any weight on them. These are normally, like, pretty freaking heavy. Huh. These are, like, weird eggs. These are weird eggs, guys. I don't even know, uh, if they'd pick them up. Okay, let's stop breeding for now. Can we put these back in there? No, we can't. Okay, cool. We could see their stats. Very convenient. Um... Yeah, so 35. Okay, you have a mutation. That's no good. So 237. Yeah, there was only one in there. And oh, it has a little asterisk. I guess that denotes a mutation. Very nice. Um. Yeah, how about that? Okay, the question is, can I incubate these? I'm slowly getting heavy. I'm getting heavy. I'm getting heavy. Can I walk over there? Okay. We're just gonna put them in this, uh, this terminal here. Let's see if these weird eggs will incubate. Okay, there's 36 items in here. Oh, they pick some up. Perfect! It will pick them up! Great. Excellent. Uh, we don't have... I don't think there's any mutations. Let's look at these. Uh, we're looking for 327. There are none. Okay, you can all go. Goodbye. Goodbye. Um, let's put all these eggs. Can we? Is it called egg? Yes, it's called egg. Perfect. Get in there. Uh huh. Now, hopefully they are incubating. Okay, let me check. It was like maybe thirty seconds or a minute or something, but. Okay, they are, because this was a like 97 when I first looked at them. Yeah, okay, so they are incubating. I can't destroy the eggs until I hatch them, so we'll just leave them in there for now. Okay, this is- this is great! Um... I don't like that it's only 100? 100, 100 slots? Because, uh, they take up about... I mean, a fourth of it. I might- 
I might check to see if I can change the um if I can change the slot count. Because if I could just turn that into 500, that might be better. It's a little safer. That way I can just spend, I think it takes like three minutes to almost fill up a 300 slot uh, terminal. So I would just put on my timer for three minutes and then see if it's full yet. It's unfortunate that they do take up space in here, but you know what? This is pretty, Dude, this is so good. Oh my god. Like, okay, did you see how much space those guys took up? That was crazy. I will probably just move this stuff over there, though. That way I could build a little, like, building on top of it. And then maybe I could combine it with the terminal. Why not? Uh, let's pick up... I feel bad I just consumed that freaking... <laughs> that poor little thing okay oh that piece of element i mean i'm just like all over the place with my thoughts here okay very interesting what is in here we have a couple oh there's mother and father the carcrodonts and a couple eggies for consumption i have this guy i have my air conditioners and then this baby i have eggs in here oh i do have eggs in here oh these are the rex eggs okay cool We'll have to move this then. Um, I guess I'll put this guy in the middle. Put it in the middle. Where did it go? Right there. Oh, it's it snaps to the floor. Okay, cool. Um, I don't think there's an actual centered piece here. Okay, there you go. I guess we don't spin it around or anything. It's just fixed to where you put it. Okay, let's put these guys in here. Oh, I, oh, Caroline, come on. Now I gotta find her again. But, um, yeah, I'll just make a little hut. And we'll cover this. I'll probably just do glass. Since this floor is glass, oh, that'd be so nice. I'll have to go make a building for it, though. But, um, okay, let's find Caroline. We don't want her in here. Carol, there we go. Alright, um, I'll come back when... I got my little house built up. That way the eggs don't go flying in every freaking direction. Oh, that was so scary. And then we'll put the air conditioners inside and that would be really nice. Okay, hopefully that's enough to kind of keep it in here. Let's put these up. I didn't bring a door. I thought this would be adequate. <laughs> hopefully they don't fly out of there. Oh my gosh. Uh, you know what? Let's move it towards the back. That might be... That might be a little better. Okay, cool. Uh, Alright, let's pull these girls back in. And then the boy. And then the piece of element that I brought. And then we activate. Prepare dinos for breeding. Start breeding. Uh, breed? Okay, so there's something in here called mutation pulse. Does it do a mutation pulse? One. Let's type one. Oh, we need element for that. No. Nope. We're just gonna do it the old-fashioned way. I don't have... That is too rich for my blood, friend. Alright, let's start breeding. Let's... Let us begin. You could barely see the carpet on in there. You could just see the little feet. It's not as distinct. Oh, we want it to... Okay, hold on. Let me get this one. Oh no, we're we're in dire straits here, bud. Oh, we got all these eggs. No, they're so heavy too. They're going to like fill this up pretty quick. Okay, twenty-four recovering. Did they just fill that? Yeah, they did. Okay, cool. Um, let's stop breeding for a second. You guys can get back to that once I have this set up. <laughs> oh my word. Um, we'll put you right here in the middle. That is convenience. We'll get your 300 back in there. We'll go into your settings. Newborn auto trap. Let's turn this on. We don't need 15. Um, maybe three. Let's see what that looks like. Let's see. Does it cover the whole room? can't really tell. 
Okay. Okay. It certainly does. Beautiful. Very efficient. Now we're not taking up a huge chunk of the platform. And we can actually just make each little tiny area a different breeding chamber. <gasps> How cool. Okay. Let's make sure it's on the correct options here. Newborn auto trap. Okay. Don't need to use that stuff. And then we want to go to automation. And automation, we want to pick up fertilized eggs. We want to incubate fertilized eggs. Uh, and that's really all we need at the moment. Beautiful! Oh, I just realized. We can have uh, honeybees generate honey. How about that? I think I have one. Okay. We got our kids in here. Let's get the eggs out. So we want them incubating here because I think it's uh, pretty quick. Cool. Now let's turn the back on. Start breeding. Excellent. Now the unfortunate thing is I can get the mutator, but in order for me to get the maximum efficiency out of it, I would have to because it releases a pulse when you use it and then everything within its vicinity gets like the mutation buff and so their babies get mutated uh whichever ones they lay what like whatever eggs they lay whatever they're um gestating and uh unfortunately we can't do that it wants you to pay one element for each creature i'm like uh hmm I don't know. It's like, what's the time time limit on that? I have no idea. Okay, view breeding progress. They're recovering. They're all recovering. You did a good job. Oh, I forgot. I wanted the eggs to pop out. Don't hold eggs. Oh! Okay. Oh, there you go. Are they all in here? <gasps> they are. Okay, the room worked perfectly. Look at those eggs! No mess. No mess. And this will get... I think it's every minute the soul terminal picks up the eggs. So uh, we'll get those in a second. I love how it's S plus dino egg. <laughs> That's so crazy. I guess it has to make it like a totally different like item because... Oh. <laughs> because the creatures aren't breeding. Uh... As they would normally, I suppose. Huh. Those air conditioners might be a problem. Let's... Let's pick them up and distribute them. Can we just get you beside them? Very good. Beautiful. Alright. We'll, we'll pick those up in a second. They will not incubate in time to just hatch uh, out here on the floor. So that is working. So far we have 49, 73. You know what? This is way more like cleaner because when they're out there breeding like crazy, they're just dumping eggs one after the other and they kind of get staggered with how they start uh, breeding with the male and it's kind of messy. I wonder if I'll have to pay an element every time I get, I have to put in a squat, s switch out my male because that would kind of suck. Not gonna lie. Pretty convenient. I like it. Alright, we'll come back when I guess everything's incubated, which might be um, maybe 25 minutes because this adds a little bit of time collecting the eggs. Thanks to my excellent observation skills, I noticed that we already have the level right here. And if there is not the level that you need... Let's see, 237. So we have some 237s. Uh-huh. Let's see, that one, food. That one's movement speed. That one's oxygen. And that one is another oxygen. So since we don't have new mutations and the ones that we want, we don't necessarily have to hatch these eggs. Let's see. Uh, we'll just put them... How many I can carry? We'll just put them away for when we have to level up some uh, other creatures.
creatures. So I brought this, uh, this tech storage since it's refrigerated. At least I think so. Yeah, when it's powered, it's refrigerated. And uh, we'll just keep these little guys in here until we need to hatch them and gobble them up, I guess. All right, there we go. Well, uh, we haven't hatched any eggs, but you know what? I will continue to start breeding. We will continue to get little eggs. Gosh, it is so dark in here. Okay. I did make the walls a little bit darker and I kind of fixed up the frames of each wall. So you can kind of see a little teeny line right there. But, um, yeah, that's, that was pretty much the dang old propagator. I am so excited about this. I can't wait until I make more. I'm probably going to make another one for them. And then maybe another one, a third one for the Tyranus, which, which means I have to go fight the bosses again. <laughs> I might do the mini bosses. They're a lot easier. Uh, it's a, I mean, I say that, but I, I mean, I only get like 30 each. That's not enough. I need like 500 element. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I probably will have to do the big bosses again. I might... I don't want to do the Alpha Dragon again, that's for sure. I might do, um, I might do Beta and Gamma. I don't remember how much element you get from those, but we'll just do those to, to farm up some element, because that's really what I need. But anyway, um, Buddy Man, that looked like Play-Doh for a second, uh, signing out. Um, I hope this was very interesting. I had never used a propagator before, and you know what? That's pretty dang cool. You can even do mammals, and they'll come out of a freaking egg. What the hecky? That's awesome. I was kind of worried that it wouldn't work, but you know what? That would make breeding hyenodons and bats and other mammals so much easier. Oh, you know what? Breeding a phyla would be so great. Breeding horses. I gotta breed horses. Oh my gosh. Oh, speaking of horses, unicorns. We gotta do a video on unicorns. <sighs> There's just so much to do. <laughs> well, anyway, see you next time. Thank you for being here. Have a good one. See ya.